And we've just had the President's Conference for the whole creation. I was doing some Bible studies, four Bible studies, and um, uh, endeavouring to set out a, the biblical uh, basis for eco-theology. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. John 3.16, one of the most famous and much loved verses in the New Testament. The word for world is cosmos. God so loved the cosmos that he gave his only son. When we think about it, God as creator of the whole cosmos, uh, not only created it, but loves it. And in fact, is reconciling all things to God's self. When we turn to the letter to the Colossians, there's a lot of really significant eco-theology to be found. Chapter 1, verses 1 to 23, Paul and Timothy are writing um, uh, their uh, thanksgiving, a prayer of thanksgiving essentially, uh, for the Colossians. And in verse 23, they set, they've been setting out the, the gospel and they, in verse 23, they talk about the uh, gospel having been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. So one of the things I was doing was reflecting with um, with the gathered people here about whether it actually means every creature is every creature under heaven in some way connected with the gospel and I'm, I made the case that yes indeed this means what it says that God is reconciling all things to God's self not just humanity when we think about the, um, the Pauline gospel, the way in which Paul tells us the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ, um, he tells us the story in ways that we, we know well, and yet I, made, I was making the case that there's a kind of deeper substructure that we often don't notice, and it, it's to do with the whole creation, namely that God is not only the creator of all things, but the one who is reconciling all things through Christ. So when we go back then, um, having noticed that in verse 23, go back to um, Colossians 1, 15 to 20, that's um, the so-called um, Christ hymn, where we hear that um, uh, Christ is the embodiment, the icon of the invisible God, and Christ is the one through whom and for whom all things were created and in whom all things hold together. So it's really a vision of the way in which all, all creation is held together and significant um, to God through Christ. So when we start to notice that we are not the only ones that God cares for, then we start to recognize that often we've been too anthropocentric in how we've understood the Bible. And when we notice that, then we can see uh, things more clearly and they make sense, particularly Romans 8, where it talks about creation um, waiting with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God and creation groaning.
um, if it were not the case that creation was significant, then why would, would uh, Paul be writing um, in Romans 8 about the whole creation and its future? I've been working on Colossians now for a number of years and uh, in January next year um, my, my um, eco-stoic reading of Colossians in the Earth Bible series will be appearing with Bloomsbury TNT Clark. So I hope that that will make um, a, contr a further contribution in this area.